If you find yourself excited for the next wave of Marvel Studios projects, it looks like this November and December we can expect tons from Marvel, Star Wars, and various other Disney IPs. So let's talk about what was recently revealed at the investors call and what we can expect. So during the last Disney investors call in mid-August, we did learn that things are looking really good for Disney with subscribers for Disney Plus with theatrical releases coming up and of course new projects in development. Now to end it, they did announce that the next investors call would be in November and also it was mentioned that last year's event where they showed off everything including new trailers and projects would be something that they want to keep doing. Now while they didn't make it very clear it looks like the November event will be Disney Plus Day where they're going to go more into everything coming to Disney Plus and then in December it looks like they want to have that giant investors call style blowout of everything again. So two events back to back or it could be condensed into one we just don't know as of right now what they're planning and what internally they believe is the best approach so with that in mind more than likely what we can expect to get is the release dates for upcoming series like obi-wan and the rogue one prequel cassian endor because those should be a little bit more concrete and set in stone for when they believe they can wrap those up also releases for the likes of Moon Knight and She-Hulk, I would assume would be there along with Miss Marvel because again, those will be more or less done shooting everything and in deep into post-production. Now the next step is the interesting one. Do you take everything that you're going to develop for the next couple of years after that, like we keep hearing about Midnight Suns for example or Ghost Rider, do you announce those here or do you save those for the bigger investors call, whatever that is? And that's where people can't seem to agree or disagree in regards to what somebody else is saying. And I think it's all in the messaging of what they want Disney Plus Day to be. My guess would be you focus only on stuff that is going to release within the next year to six to eight months. And then you save everything for the investors call that's bigger where that's where you announce like the Fantastic Four subtitle if it has one or possibly even cast or something along those lines. And the reason I think they take that approach is because if you're doing it on Disney Plus Day, it's supposed to be for Disney Plus only. The investor's call is for everything again. So I think you got to split the difference and you got to have both content at the Disney investor's call, but more imminent release projects set to release on Disney Plus at the Disney Plus day.